the last one attempting this jump in a crazy Holden and tree. Welcome back to Car Gamer, everybody, and we are on Forza Horizon 3, and today is November 1st, and they just dropped the November car pack, which is called Alpine Stars, and there's quite a few cool cars that got dropped, but I'm after one specifically, and check this out. How am I supposed to get this? There's an X, or uh, there's a board up there, XP board, whatever fast travel board that's what that is and uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna have to get that guys I don't I don't see no jump unless you have to hit it from backside and haul ass I don't know but either way let's make it to the festival and check out some of the new cars uh, like I said we're only gonna build one specifically go take it drifting and drag racing and see what it can do maybe even in a regular circuit race or road race or something gotta say i love the charger man people ask me in reality you know if you had the money to go buy a new camaro challenger mustang what would you buy i'm like neither i want a charger Especially a Hellcat charger. Oh my god, these things are so awesome. I don't even have kids, but they are kind of like roomy. I've drove one in real life. They are cool. Alright folks, here we go. Make to order perk discount applied. Oh, yeah. So we get a free car no matter what, but that's one of the free cars, I think, unless that was from the last pack. I think that, I don't know. There's a few of them I didn't pick up from the last pack, so I know that one's the new one of the new ones. I'm pretty damn sure, at least. And let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, the Viper. And there we are, folks. A muscle car. Well, kinda. Kinda like a, you know, charger. It's It's got a lot of similarities, a four-door, but muscle car material. Um, what does it come with? 225 horsepower displacement. So it's gotta be pretty decent sized motor with that size displacement. Good torque, so it's gotta have a V8 in it. Let's find out. Hmm. Nothing's really catching my eyes, guys. Ooh, that does look good, though. We'll go with that. Ooh, we can open the hood? Let's check this out. Ooh, how pretty. 351 or 302 in there, it looks like. Yeah, nice. I can't tell. It says, oh, a 289. Ah, yeah, small block Ford. Very beautiful motor. I have one sitting in my garage, even though I don't own a Ford. I have a 351 Windsor sitting there, and that was for my 53 Ford I was going to build back in the day. Whoa, what's that do? Oh, we can go in closer. Oh, how cool. Awesome. They got anything to say on this car? Hey, go back. Well, you can open everything on this car. You got all four doors you can open. You got the hood, the trunk. Everything opens on this. Headlights, taillights, blah, blah, blah. Now let's see if he says anything about this car. Henry Ford didn't just change the auto industry. He changed America. He changed the world. He actually worked for Thomas Edison in the 1890s as an engineer. So he knew something about invention and he knew a lot about business. The famous assembly line production technique he perfected wasn't just the best way to build cars, it made them affordable for average people, which made his market bigger. And he expanded internationally to make it even bigger than that. He might be an interesting figure in history, but you can't argue with the empire he left behind. Agreed. I love Fords. 
Even though I don't own one no more. I owned one at one time. So, let's go get this thing customized. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no body kit. Oh, SOB. Doesn't that suck? So, we're going to stick with actually the original motor. But, we're going to put a blower on it. I mean, this is Australia, folks. And we don't get a blower hood or anything. What the hell? That would have been sweet. So remember, we're building this for a drag drift build. So we got everything that we'll need. Race tires. Uh, we're going to upgrade our sizes, definitely. Keep it real wheel drive, obviously. Got that blower sitting underneath the hood. Let's find some nice wheels for it. Mmm, those kind of look good. But I think those look better. So we're going to go with those. I think those were iForge, but I didn't really pay attention to the brand. But they look like they're branding. Put a clutch, transmission, drive shaft, rear differential. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Uh, how do we want this thing to ride? Great off-road. Uh, we're gonna go with the race suspension on this thing. Gonna have to do a little bit of adjustment to the ride height. Do the weight reduction, roll bar, everything there. Upgrade this motor and see what we can push out of the stock motor. I'm not going to put the other V8, the 6.2, in it until I realize it needs more balls. Now, you guys are probably saying, you're going to drag race it, it needs more balls. Well, you got to give the original motor a test, and I don't mind spending money. So, here we go. See what we can get out of this girl, especially in S1 class, we'll see what happens. only 477 horsepower so I'm not gonna be expecting a lot out of that let's go to the tune drop our front tire pressure down a little bit rear tire pressure down just a fuzz put our gear ratio oh my god what the hell is up with the gearing on this thing 170 miles an hour oh my god Needs more balls, that's for sure. I think we're gonna go right there. Everything there, positive, point two. Set it up just a little bit softer in the front and rear. Because we want it to still somewhat drive on the street and maybe even slightly race. So we're gonna bump down everything on the Suspension down to a little softer handling. Bump our ride height up quite a bit because I don't like being that low to the ground. Can we go to 9.7? That'll be perfect. Just slightly in the rear. Uh, probably turn our stiffness up and way up in the rear. Uh, more for speed in the front and about the same in the rear do our brakes to about 70 maybe do 110 maybe 120 pounds and put a locker in it screw it we want it to haul ass so and what did it say Hundred and sixty seven miles an hour, so we'll see what it can do with factory motor. 
Oh yeah, she does a good burnout. All right, let's take this somewhere to drift real quick before we hop online. Because we're going to take this online racing. Oh, it feels good though. Handles good. Got a good feel to it. Should be great drift car. Throw a fat e-brake drift just to test it. Nice. Even took a little bit out. Hey, came here. Uh, you guys got a beer? I need a beer. I'm sure I'm on the wrong side of the car, though. Uh, I need a beer. Turn around. Is this just a motel? Well, maybe this is the bar over here. Hey, uh, anybody got a beer? Yeah, bring me a beer, bro. Thanks. Use that. Take a swig of my beer while we're trying to find somewhere to go drifting. And we got a lot of new spots, so I knew there was one over here I haven't found, so let's go for that one. But seriously, guys, uh, if you can get that XP board or that fast travel board up there, show me how you do it. Comment below or something. Anyways, speaking of commenting on stuff below, uh, need you guys to comment on the last video of the Halloween car meet. Tell me which car you like the best if you got time to watch the video. If you did, thank you. Um, how was your Halloween, by the way? Uh, mine was kind of uneventful. I had to work. And I seen some cool costumes while I was at work. But really didn't get to go out and party or anything because it was Monday. and One of those kind of Halloweens. It wasn't really eventful for me. And then uh, another thing is I watched a couple other... Uh, YouTubers do their Halloween videos, which I think there was only AR12 and some other guy that did a Forza Horizon 3 Halloween video, and it was pretty cool. Um, but anyways, on Forza Horizon 2, I guess I found this, I stumbled across this video when I was looking at Halloween videos on Forza Horizon 3, and Forza Horizon 2, there was actually somebody, a couple videos that I actually found like this really spooky sound, you know, like in certain spots on the map. So maybe one of these days we'll go back through that and check it out. But let's do a wheel spin just for the sake of it. Oh, and okay. So, uh, no, we're good. Five grand. Wow. All right, well, let's hit this. I'm sure it's a drift zone. I got a feeling at least, but it might be a speed uh, trap. Speed zone, whatever. So let's push this girl, give it a try, and go and find a drift somewhere. Oh, shizzle. Woo! That was close. Only 85 miles an hour, too. Oh man, that sucks. One star. Wah. See what else we can find here. Alright, guys. We fast traveled a little bit, and we're going to hit this sign, as well as probably something down through here. I hope there's a drift through there. Not sure what we're going to find, but let's go for it. We only got a little ways before we unlock the next uh, festival expansion. And then we got one more expansion and we're done with the expansions until the map expansion. Which, who knows what's going to happen with that. I don't. So this jump. You guys remember this video. The last one. Attempting this jump. In a crazy. Holden. And. Tree. Well. 
That didn't work, did it? But we did find a drift zone. And considering it's uphill, we gotta do a hill climb here. Woohoo! Guys know me and my hill climb race. Oh man, this is awesome drift zone. Might be in a great car to do it too. So we're gonna treat it like a hill climb race. Ooh, there's a board there. Didn't pick that one up yet, but now we got it. All right, we're gonna start off right around here. Man, this is, I love this race. We only did it the backwards way, like this, like a real hill climb race. Oh, here we go. Just hopefully guys stay out of my way. All right, let's throw this thing sideways as sideways as we can. Oh, I'm digging it, but we gotta stay on a course. This is an awesome trip. I love this one, guys. Oh. Need to bring my real hill climb car out here. Oh my gosh. We'll do that in the next video. Oh, only one star. Almost enough to expand the festival, though. So... Speaking of expanded festival, let's try this one last time, guys, because you guys know this jump hates me. Oh, and that guy is going to hate me, too. Come on, come on. Aim a little further over this way. Don't hit a tree, please. Please don't hit a tree. Land it. Yeah, yeah, sweet. We got it. Awesome. Only one start, but hey, we didn't wreck into a tree or rolled the car this time, so. Oh, we still didn't make it to the festival expansion. Damn. Thought we would have, but not a big deal. Eh, screw it. You know, we're this close to this one. We might as well go for it, right? Stuntorama in the brand new Falcon. Oh. And also, this weekend, I'm also going to get my uh, body panels for my race car. So that's going to be really exciting, too. I'll probably start working on that shortly. Got to kind of figure some things out in my garage because I got my T top car in the garage for winter. And. Oh, is this another drift zone? You've got to be kidding me. Two drift zones back to back? No way. Awesome. But yeah, it's going to be exciting seeing the progression on the race car. I'm also going to do a vlog for you guys kicking off the Camaro week. You know, kind of have to update you guys on like what's going to be happening with both cars. Because I know you guys love the Camaros, so stay tuned. Ooh, not too bad. Two stars, maybe? Yep, I guessed it. Yeah, finally. Got that expansion. Hey, Joe. I have big plans for our next festival expansion. Two words for you. Bouncy castle. Bouncy castles. Awesome. For my little niece and all my buddy's kids and all that stuff. Because you guys know I'm like the only singer, single guy left out of my crew. I mean, in my town. Which is a good thing. That's why I have so much money for my race cars. Yep. Girls are crazy. 
Well, good majority of them. I ain't gonna call them all crazy. Give it another shot through this drift zone. Then we gotta go drag racing after this festival. Rip it a little harder. Still only gonna get two stars though. There ain't no way I'm gonna be doing better than that. Maybe. Maybe. Stay on the road. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. We might get it. Oh. I don't think so. But we did better. Oh, we did get three stars. The fans love a daredevil. Yeah, I'm definitely a daredevil. Before I went to Biotech, I actually thought about uh, becoming a stunt guy. A stunt driver. You know? A daredevil. You guys can see I drive like one. Especially with the death proof car. That was pretty wild. I hope you guys watched that. Oh, another drift zone. Man, just throwing these drift zones at me tonight with this Falcon. Awesome. Make my mouth water. Nicely done, Joe. Nicely done. We already had three stars, but we got really close there. Top 6%. Ooh, you gotta turn. 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 Festival expansion, and then we go online. Test it out at least in maybe two, three drag races. Thank you, Anna. Okay, guys. I realize I just drove all this way to this festival, which I've expanded already, which I have to expand one of these two. So I'll see you when we get online because I'll expand those later in the next video. All right, guys. We're online here. Oh, that is one sick car, eh? That is nice. I don't like the big wheels, but... There's only a few of us here. I'm waiting for, hopefully, somebody to start a meet, a race. Ooh, Dodge Dart. Sweet paint. Nice looking wheels. Good aggressive stance. Nice job, my brother. All right, guys, we're gonna do this one drag race and uh, see how the car does. And uh, in the next video, we'll probably bust this car out for at least a race or two. Because we did plenty of drifting with it, and it does pretty damn good, as you can see. So let's see what it does to the drag car. That Dodge Dart got me right off the bat. Probably all wheel drive. And everybody else is going to catch me. I'm gonna lose this one. Goodbye! Nice looking car though. I will say that. It's like the predate, predated uh, Charger. Which another thing you guys should know is you guys know the AMC Eagle Pioneer came out like 17 years or 14 years before Subaru even came out with their wagon. So think about that. And I mean, the four wheel drive, crazy utility wagon. And it was made in America. AMC Jeep and all that stuff back in the 80s. Pretty cool little car, actually. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in for a little fact, but I think we're going to call it at the end of the video because this has been quite a video already. A lot of drifting in it. Didn't expect that much drifting, but awesome. Awesome. Wish I could have put a hood scoop on it as well. Or a blower sticking out of the hood. Like, I mean, it is an Australian car, right? Because that ain't no 67 Falcon that I've seen in America. 
and he's driving on the wrong side and it's a four-door so anyways i'll see you guys in the next video uh watch the halloween video and tell me what you guys thought and uh vote on which car you like the most there was four cars i believe in the whole video besides the corvettes if you watched the video anyways see you in the next video you guys have a great day